Since it began in 2003, Porsche Carrera Cup GP has risen to the pinnacle of British motor racing. Using identical 911 GT3 Cup cars, the series puts the emphasis firmly on driver skill and has become a proven springboard for those seeking professional careers. This is the start of the second half of our season. It's rounds 9 and 10 of Carrera Cup GB. Uh, we've got a good number of cars here, mix of pros, pro-ams and ams. It's the first time we've been back to Thruxton since 2014. They're going to see our cars, our 485 horsepower 911 GT3 Cups, at their highest speed at any time throughout our championship this year. Fresh from making his debut in the Porsche Mobile One Super Cup in support of the British Grand Prix, Porsche GP junior Dan Harper was hoping to extend his championship lead. What's great about Carrera Cup is that the racing's so tight. Um, you can learn so much. I mean, coming from Ginetta Juniors straight into a Porsche, the cars are completely different. So it took me a while to sort of get the hang of it. But I'm racing with Team JTR, which is owned by Nick Tandy, who's a factory Porsche driver. So there's no better man, really, to, to coach me in a Porsche. The good drivers that come out of Carrera Cup, um, you, you see them, whether they, they race with Porsche or go on to other manufacturers, other marks, other series, the top guys are really top level. It gives drivers an, an aspiration, as well as giving guys that want to race for fun a fantastic, fast racing car to go and, go and play with. The mechanically identical 485 horsepower GT3 Cup cars means the difference between victory and defeat comes down to team preparation and driver performance. Because effectively all of the cars are the same, uh, we can adjust the setup, but we are limited on the setup changes as well, so the racing's close. So I think today between first and second, you're looking at less than half a tenth of a second per pole. We don't get much of a slipstream either. Germany fastest driver does win, but it's uh, well earned. Having a good fight with another driver is what we do it for. I mean, Lewis, he was my teammate last year in JTR. He's now sort of my main championship rival. When we're off the track, we have good fun together. It's great crack, and then as soon as we get in the car, the racing mind comes, and uh, it's a bit of a fierce rivalry. In the first of the weekend's two races, the 18-year-old from Belfast stormed to an impressive win, while in fifth place, pro-arm driver Esme Hawkey was mixing it up with the best in a well-deserved class victory. It was great to be battling in fifth position all amongst the pros, which was amazing for me and really good to kind of um, get better as a driver myself. It's an amazing race all together, really. P1 in my class and fifth overall, so really happy with that race. Back in the paddock, attention turned to the next generation of a racing dynasty. Preparing for race two, Sam Brabham showed Carrera Cup also attracts the sport's biggest names. The history that we've got in the sport from Jack, my granddad, and then, and then my dad David as well, you know, it's, I couldn't not keep the family name going. I'm very fortunate to be in the position I'm in to be able to go racing. I think it's the best place for me to develop my skills. Formula One's not my target anymore, it's more sports cars than Le Mans, so Porsche have got a proven track record of producing good drivers and making sure that they get to the right places. And, uh, you know, I'll let dad be my helmet carrier now. In the final action of the day, Dan Harper showed why he was the class of the field, though. A brilliant pass on Josh Webster would bring another victory and complete an inspiring weekend double. The Northern Irishman only took his first win last season, but is already showing he's one of the brightest young talents in motorsport. Amazing weekend, pretty faultless really. Two fastest laps, full position uh, and two race wins, so the perfect weekend and a huge thank you to JTR for giving me a faultless car for the weekend. It's one of the reasons that I get involved with running a race team, it's to give young drivers the chance that I was given when I was starting out my career and um, seeing guys like Dan and Jamie that race with us. I get the enjoyment out of watching them winning as much as I do kind of driving myself. People like Nick Tandy, Estra, etc. they all started their GT racing careers in a Carrera Cup somewhere around the world and now they're factory drivers winning Le Mans, driving fantastic cars and for those young drivers they can see that there's a real pathway up to their career in sports car racing with Porsche. Oh, they want to put